Just got the truck set up here. First ever four door Bronco. These 30 inch tyres. So stay tuned to the channel for that. So I just got off work, just got home, and first of all, I just want to give uh, Ronnie and also Tyler Thompson props for the videos they made in regards to the uh, roof platforms. So on my truck, I've got a Yakima roof platform, and with the load rating capacities on these things, um, I've always known about the static and the dynamic load, but I guess a lot of people, I thought it was a well-known thing um, regarding these racks is that they do have a static and dynamic load. I'll get into static and dynamic loads and what they mean. So if you don't understand, static load is basically me standing here holding these sunglasses. That's a static load. Just like the roof rack is right now, it's a static load. It's got my solar panel, my light bar, my uh, antenna for my um, self I go. But right now it's static. It's not moving, it's not doing anything. It's sitting in that position. And most of the time when you're on road, it is just a static because it's not getting thrown around side to side. When we get into dynamic loads, these sunglasses, I drop them. They're then carrying more force and more weight while they're moving than when I'm just holding them still. That's the easiest way I can kind of describe it. But basically with these roof racks, they have a static and dynamic load rating. So, but what the manufacturers are missing is they really need to start putting on the boxes of, of these items, not just the carrying capacity of the, of the, uh, the rack, because a lot of people think that that's on and off road. That's all conditions. That's all the time. Lack of knowledge and not understanding the load limits and yeah, basically overloading these things going off road. So with static, it is just the roof rack and your all stuff up there is just sitting there. That's the static load. Dynamic is when it starts to move, all your stuff starts to get, like the weight starts to get transferred from side to side. It puts more pressure on the rack, the rivets, the bolts, all the components up there, that weight shifting. So that's why there's two load limits. There's a static and a dynamic, which is on and off road basically. So your off-road capacity is going to be way less. Um, hence why my rack, I've calculated all my rack and everything I have up there is around 50 kilos. The roof of the F250 can hold 90 kilos. So I'm struggling to find a dynamic load on my platform. I can't find it on Yakima's website. Mine is slightly custom and slightly bigger than and different than any other rack Yakima have because I actually cut this one down and modified it to fit this truck because they didn't have anything that would fit fit the F250 back then. So I think these manufacturers need to make this stuff more clearer on their websites, on their packaging and all that sort of stuff because you've got to dig so hard and like I said, I still can't find um, one for Yakima on this platform for my dynamic load, um, which is off-road. I'm pretty sure I'm well well beneath it and I'm well under my roof limit of 90 kilos. Um, but from everything that I've added up, I have about 50 kilos of weight on my roof. So just a few points when you're going to look for a roof rack. You want to know your roof capacity of your vehicle, number one. That's the number one thing you need to find out. Then you need to source your rack or whatever you want to put on your roof subtract the weight of the rack and the bolts and the brackets and the backbone or however you're mounting it the whole setup subtract that from your roof capacity and then go well that's going to give me 15 kilos so what the hell can i put up there bugger all maybe a, a lightweight awning that's it so these racks aren't your solution for everything they're not a solution to stick all your gear up there and go off road because they just can't they can't do it and, and it sucks that they're rated that way, but yeah, I'm gonna do some more research on my rack and I may do a follow-up video on this because my rack is custom. We actually cut down an oversized like wagon rack to make this thing to fit this truck because Yakima had nothing in stock or basically nothing made to fit the roof of this thing that would look good. Every rack we put up there was either way too long or way too short. It looked kind of looked funny with the short ones, so. 
I'm going to do some more hunting tomorrow regarding my truck. All the weight that I have up there right now, I have around 50 kilos of weight. That's that's the, the rack, the backbone, the light bar, uh, my solar panel, and also my antenna, which is above my head up here, um, and my antenna. So that's the weight that I have on my roof, and I think that I'm well, I should be well beneath the dynamic load of, of this rack. Um, like I said, my roof can take 90 kilograms. Um, I've struggled to find that even in my Ford manual for my F250. I can't find how much weight the roof of this thing can take. So I looked online and I found close to four or five websites that actually said that this model, this generation can take 90 kilograms on the roof. So that's what I'm running with. That's the only information I can find. I can't exactly ring Ford and ask them about an F250 because they don't sell them here. But I may be able to ring the importer and find out, but going off five different websites and forums, I'm, I'm assuming that, that that information would be correct, but again, I probably should check that. So yeah, just touching on the static and dynamic loads, guys. That's the biggest thing you need to uh, take in consideration when buying a platform and thinking about what you're gonna put on your roof. So props for Ronnie and Tyler for getting that info out there. And yeah, just wanted to explain the static and dynamic loads if you didn't understand that sort of thing. So yeah, static, just a reminder again, static is stationary right now. That roof rack of mine is, is static. It's a static load, it's not moving. When I start to drive out my driveway or go off road, it then turns into a dynamic load. So all that weight is shifting. Well, it's not, it's not shifting as such, but it's moving and putting more pressure on the components of the rack of everything I have up there. It's, it's pulling and pushing on the rack. So it's uh, affecting how the rack is like constructed and all that sort of stuff. So that's when you take into dynamic loads, like you're lifting wheels and, and going up like steep hills and doing some hard off-roading. There's a lot of weight and stuff that's transferred, especially like top heavy weight of that rack moving and putting all that pressure on the uh, different components and stuff. So that's why there is a static and a dynamic load. So yeah, just remember static is stationary. It's just S for static, S for stationary and uh, dynamic is moving so yeah anyway hope that uh helps some of you out there i just wanted to touch on that as well just add to this uh this talk and i think it's good when any of us youtubers um have a say in this and can give out information so props for ronnie and tyler for for getting that out there because i think a lot of these manufacturers sell these racks on ignorance and people just reading the box oh this can take bloody 70 80 kilos on the roof well no it can't so yeah anyway i've just uh gotten off work just got home just want to do this video quickly and um yeah so truck's filthy covered in mud just how it should be <laughs> but um yeah all right guys i'll catch you in the next one see you